And we're going to take you through some basic foam, foam rolling stuff through the hips. And what we're going to do, we're going to start off with rolling out our quads. So to roll out your quads, the quads are the muscles in the front here of your legs. To roll out your quads, what you want to do is first start off by lying down face first on the foam roller, making sure both your quads are on the foam roller. What you want to do now is slowly go up and down over both of your quads. All the way up, nice and slow. This should take about three to four seconds to go each way. Once you get to the end, all the way to the end where the kneecap is, you want to go back and down the other way. If you find a spot that's particularly sore, like a knot, you want to pause on that spot and hold for about five seconds. And then you want to continue rolling back. And you want to do this five to ten times on each spot before you swap over. So with your quads, if you find that this, you don't feel anything through this, you want to lift up one of your legs and take it off the foam roller. So all of your weight is on the one leg. Yeah, like that. And then doing the same thing. With the quad, because it's such a big muscle, you want to make sure you get the middle. And once you've done the middle, you go to the outside. So you would slightly lean to one side and start getting down the outside of your quad. When we're going down the outside, the same thing. You want to go nice and slow, up and back, five to ten times, finding a nice sore spot. You want to pause there and hold. So this should take, same as before, about three to five seconds to go full length of the outside of the quad. Once we've done the outside, we want to go to the inside and do the ZMO. So the VMO is the muscle on the inside here. So when you're doing your VMO, you want to put the leg up and over the foam roller. And you want to make sure that you're getting the inside muscle here on the foam roller. Then you're going to put your leg through the foam roller onto this one leg. You're going to roll up and back. Making sure that the foam roller is on the same angle as the leg. Same as before, you find a sore spot, you want to hold there for three to five seconds. And then keep going. You want to go up and back over the whole muscle. And that's how you roll out your quads. After you've done your quads, you want to do your hamstrings. So there's the muscles in the back of your leg there. So the first way to do that is sitting down on the foam roller, making sure both the back of both your legs are on the foam roller. Same as before, you want to roll back and forth nice and slow. It can take three to five seconds to go the whole length. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you're using your hands to support yourself so your bum's not on the ground and you want to keep your feet up in the air to get the most pressure as you can on the hamstrings. So if you find that doing both at once, you don't feel anything, we're going to cross one leg over onto the other leg get a little bit more weight through the hamstring. So once you've gone back and forth five to ten times, nice and slow, you want to go to the outside of the hamstring. So to do the outside, you want to get through the outside band of the hamstring through there. Same as before, you want to go nice and slow. It should take three to five seconds to go the whole length. And then holding it to find another source. Good, and then once you've done the outside, you want to go to the inside again. Yep. So with the inside, it's a bit more tricky. You've got to really get the inside on there and get this leg on on a different angle, whereas you can't buy it across the other leg anymore. The inside's quite a bit more painful than the rest. So nice and slow, making sure that we get the whole length of the inside. So once we've done the inside of our leg, we want to the hamstring. We want to move on to our calves. So to do your calves, same as before, you want to lift your bottom off the ground, support yourself with your hands, and rocking back and forth over your calves. 
It's quite hard to do the full length of this at once, so we're going to go to the top half and then the bottom half. With the top half, what you want to do, you want to go from the middle all the way to the top. Nice and slow. Any sore spots, you want to pause on those sore spots. Same with the calves. You can, if you don't find it that, that bad, put one leg on top of the other leg, and then rolling back and forth. So, to do the calves as well, when you're doing the top part, you want to get the outside of the calf as well. So, rolling to the outside, and then rocking back and forth again. And then rolling to the inside and rocking back and forth. Once you've done the top, it's the same thing on the bottom. Yep. So, back and forth through the middle, then the outside, and then the inside. Okay. So, once you've done the calves, you want to move on to the glutes. So, the glutes are the big muscles in your behind here. So, to do your glutes, what you're going to do is you're going to sit on the foam roller, and then we're going to cross this leg over the top of the other one. Yep. So, when you're doing this, it puts the glute into a bit of a stretch, which makes it feel that bit better. When you're rolling out your glutes, so the leg that you've got up, you want to be sitting on that side of the glutes. To do the glutes, you've got to really roll around, sort of in an eight, the shape of an eight, so you can get the whole glute. You don't just go up and back in the one area, you've got to lean over and get the whole thing. Same as before, you're supporting your weight with your arm, and then using your other leg to support you and help you move around over the glute. Right, so with the glute, you want to just keep rocking back and forth over it, bend 20 times. Finding any little sore spots, you want to stay on that spot, help it release. You want to hold that for five seconds before moving on again. With the glutes, you want to make sure you do both sides and try and do them every day. It's a really bad squat. After we've done the glutes, we want to move on to our ITB band. So the ITB band is the band on the outside of your leg, and that's between the hamstring and the quad. So to roll that, you want to go on your side, yep, like so, you have the other leg that is front, leaning on top, and then supporting yourself with your arms. So with the ITV, you want to make sure you're keeping your feet on the ground when you can, and rocking back and forth using your arms. Making sure you go the whole length of the ITV. This one is quite painful, so make sure you go nice and slow so you get the full effect. Finding any real sore spots, I'm going to pause there for 3 to 5 seconds before moving on. You want to go over here 5 to 10 times each time you do it. Alright, so once you've done all the foam rolling from the bottom half, with your foam roller, we'll go to the top part and we'll do the lower back. So when doing your lower, lower back, you want to have, use your arms to support you, so lean back on the foam roller, put your arms down to support you, and then lift your hips off the ground, using your legs to support you as well. And you want to rock back and forth over the lower part of your arms spine. Nice and slow. If you find that that's not, not getting in there good enough, you want to roll over to one side slightly, and then we're going to roll back and forth over there to get a nicer foam roll through the area. And then we're going to swap sides. So you want to do this five to ten times on each side, finding a sore spot, you want to hold there. Once you've done our lower back, we want to start moving up to an upper back in our lats. So doing our upper back and lats through the top part, we want to roll back and forth. Back and forth. We want to do this three to five times nice and slow. Then you're sure if you find any small spots once again, you're pausing on that spot. Once we've done that through the middle, we want to roll over to one side. So we'll roll over to one lap, and then we want to move back and forth from there. Nice and slow. So when you're doing your lap, you want to go through sort of the middle of the underarm, and then if you roll over even further, and 
go back and forth through there, that should be quite a good overall. Once you've done your lats, you want to move up and you want to try and get the rear delt. So when you're doing your rear delts, you want to get nice shoulder back on the back of the front roller, lean to one side, and we're rolling back and forth through there. Yes, and roll back. There you go. So if you find the ear of this motor rolling is not, is not really doing it for you, we can go a more aggressive method with the ball. I'm going to grab a ball. So when you're using a ball, you can use any type of ball, a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a baseball, whatever you got handy. First thing we want to roll out with the ball is our hip flexors. So when rolling your hip flexors, you want to get the ball right in the crease of the hip up the top, where, like so, and then we're going to lie down on that. Yeah. And then we want to we want to find a nice spot where it's pretty sore. Yep, like Aris has now, and you want to leave your pressure on there. So, you want to try and use your feet and your arms to put, to put most of your weight through the hip and lean on the ball. You want to put as much pressure as possible through there. And try to relax. Make sure you're still breathing while you're doing this. So, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. So, once you've, once you've found a sore spot and you've rolled that, you've stayed on there for a Five to ten seconds, you want to still move around and try and find any more small spots you might have. So, once we've done the hip flexor, we want to move on to our glutes. So, sometimes with the foam roller, you can't get into all the smaller places in the glutes that you might need the foam roller, and it's, you can put more pressure through each part. So you can put more weight on it and get more feeling out of it. So with your ball, when you're doing it through the glutes, you want to try and get towards the top of the glute, going across there, and then going down sort of towards the bottom as well. Give that a go. Good like so. And you want to make sure you've got all your weight, as much weight as possible you can through the ball. So you support yourself on your arms and then with your feet. So rolling back and forth until you find a sore spot, then you're going to hold there. So you're going to hold there for 5 to 10 seconds before rolling on to the next spot. Another good area you can get after you've done the glutes is the BMO. The BMO is really hard to get with the foam roller because it's hard to put a lot of weight through there. So with your BMO, that's the inside muscle of your quad, next to your knee, also known as the teardrop. When doing the BMO, you want to roll around nice and slow, put it all your way through there as you can. So, find down arrows, on your front. Put in, making sure we put one leg out to the side, and we're putting as much weight as we can through there. Same again, if we find the sore spot, we want to pull us there, and then just hold. So we want to make sure we're rolling around the whole BMO and you can find the source of possible holding for 5 to 10 seconds again. Make sure we go nice and slow so we get the whole area. Alright guys, that's it for our foam rolling webinar for today. Hope to see you in the gym next week. Come in early, try this, go rolling. We'll see you there. Bye.